This is the village where mass is done. Look for the people that you will meet every time you see them walking down the street. These are the houses and they are known, each by a number all its own. Along to the school gate and back again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Count all the places that you will see. Listen to the stories that there will be. Here in the village where we've begun to find out. Maths is fun. Maths is fun. Hello. I wonder how many people we shall meet in the village today. I can see Greedy the goat. Tell you. There he is. So now, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine people and Greedy the goat in the village. Nine and one are ten, so our number today will be the number ten. Let's begin with a song all about ten. <laughs> Here at the bus stop, five thin men Wait for the bus in the wind and rain Hoping that when it comes from town There'll be lots of room for sitting down Here in the bus, without a care Are five fat men with space to spare But they all say, though you are thin There isn't any room to fit you in one of the thin men says, I'm sure there is a notice by the door. This is a bus that's made for ten. Five who are fat and five thin men. Five fat fellows and five thin men fill up the bus that's made for ten. Those fat men were being very selfish, weren't they? I'm sure there was room on the bus for ten people. There's certainly room in our story for ten today. It's a story that's called Gingerbread Biscuits. Mum, said Kate, can we make some gingerbread biscuits for tea? Yes, said Mum, but first I have to go out. We'll make them when I get back. Good, said Ben. Do we have all the things we need to make them? asked Kate. Yes, said Mum, and put them on the kitchen table. A cup of flour, eggs, butter, treacle, ginger, and sugar. I must be off now. Bye-bye. I wonder how long she'll be away, said Kate. Do you think we could surprise her by making them before she gets home? I did some at school, and I think I can remember how. Great, said Ben. What do we do first? Put the flour in the mixing bowl. Ben was in such a hurry when he poured it out that a cloud of white flour flew up and covered their faces so they looked like snowmen. We are making gingerbread men, not snowmen, said Kate. They thought this was very funny. We must wipe ourselves clean in case Mum comes home before we've finished. They put in the sugar, the eggs, and then Ben tried to put in the treacle, but it wouldn't come out of the tin. He held it up as high as he could, but it only trickled very slowly into the bowl. So he stood on a chair to get the treacle up higher, but it still took a long time. How much do we have to put in? he asked. I don't know, said Kate, but that looks about right. Now, let's put in the ginger. How much, asked Ben, about to tip in a jar full. No, no, said Kate. That much will make us all sneeze. Just a spoonful. Ben put in a spoonful. Now we have to mix it all up, said Kate. They were so busy mixing that they didn't notice Greedy the goat watching them through the kitchen door, licking his lips. Then Ben said, what do we do now? Roll it flat with the rolling pin and make it into shapes. Kate gave Ben a gingerbread boy shape and she took a gingerbread girl shape. They each pressed their shapes into the mixture and soon there was not enough mixture left over to make any more. Let's count them, said Ben. 
Kate counted hers. One, two, three, four, five. And Ben counted his. One, two, three, four, five. That makes ten gingerbread biscuits altogether. And we've managed to do it before Mum gets home. They tidied up the kitchen and then sat down and waited for her. Hello, she said. Here I am, back again. Now, shall we make the gingerbread biscuits? But we don't want to make any gingerbread biscuits now, Mum, said Kate. Why not, said Mum. We don't want to make any now because we've already made them, laughed Ben. Look, on the table. Mum was so surprised to see two rows of gingerbread biscuits on the baking tray. Ten gingerbread biscuits, all ready for baking. Oh, they do look nice. I'll put them in the oven now so they should be ready for tea. When the biscuits started cooking, the kitchen became quite hot. So Ben opened the back door. There, outside, stood Greedy the goat, sniffing the lovely smell and licking his lips. The gingerbread biscuits won't be ready for a few minutes, said Ben, and they will be very hot. But there is still a little mixture left in the bowl. He carried it outside for Greedy. It took him a long time to lick up every speck so there was not one bit left in the bowl. When he'd finished, he went off happily home to Mr Dunn's farm. By now, the ten biscuits were ready, and Mum put them on the table to eat. They were so good that soon every one had been eaten and their plates were empty. The goat wasn't the only one who was greedy that day. Kate and Ben enjoyed making those biscuits, didn't they? And they all enjoyed eating them, including Greedy. Well, I've got some gingerbread biscuits here, and I'm going to count them as I sort them out into girls and boys. One, two, three, four, five. Five gingerbread girl biscuits. And one, two, three, four, five gingerbread boy biscuits. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten gingerbread biscuits all together. But I've got girls and boys, so I could arrange them into pairs, couldn't I? One pair, two pairs, three pairs, four pairs, five pairs of gingerbread biscuits, two, Four, six, eight, ten gingerbread biscuits. But have you noticed that some of these gingerbread biscuits look so sad? What a sad face. But the others look really happy. They've got nice big chocolate smiles. I think I'm going to sort them out into sad faces and happy faces. Well, there's a sad face. Put her down there. And they look very happy. And he looks very sad. Oh, yes. And she looks very sad. And he does as well. Now, let's see. How many of each have we got? We've got one, two, three, four sad faces. And one, two, three, four, five, six happy faces. But we've still got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten gingerbread biscuits all together. Just like Greedy, I'd like to eat one. But I'm not going to, because I want to leave ten for you. See you again soon. Bye-bye. Three, four, five, six, fun, seven, eight, nine, and ten.